What's up? What's up? What's up? You already know. This is Peach, and that's a yield sign. Because y'all be like, Peach, you ain't stopped. That sign said yield, and I yield. I looked to see if it was some trapping and whatnot, so I went. But I wanted to come talk to you guys about manifesting and positive affirmations. This is a topic that people always want me to talk about. I'm like, why you want me to talk about it? They're like, because I see you do it. Like, I'm just watching you and everything you're saying is coming into fruition. So, I just wanted to come tell y'all how I do it. So, basically, positive affirmations is basically when you speak positive about yourself. Like, y'all ever seen those YouTube videos or Instagram videos, Facebook videos, where they'll put good positive quotes on the mirror and the kids will have to stand in the mirror and say these things about themselves like, I am smart, I am loving, I am caring. That is called positive affirmations. It's basically where you affirm your self-worth, where you bring out all the positives inside of yourself. A lot of times we get in relationships and we have people tear us down in our relationships or even friendships or even in our family dynamics. You could be the person in your family that had a baby young, dropped out of school, maybe you got the most kids and everybody in your family like, she ain't gonna never be shit. She got all them kids. She got five different baby daddies. She ain't gonna never be nothing. Oh, she's so dumb. She dropped out of school. She ain't even got no high school diploma. So you start to value what they say and feel that way about yourself. So if a person telling you, you ain't gonna never be shit, you, eventually after you hear it enough, you start to think that you'll never be shit. You start to believe it and you live your life an uh, ain't shit life. Like you ain't gonna never be shit because everybody done told you that. Why try to make them feel different? right somebody say you got all these kids you ain't good enough for nothing but laying on your back you start to believe these things this is why positive affirmations is important positive positive affirmations is doing nothing but telling those people that you're a lie so basically you just get in the mirror and you say i am smart even though i dropped out of school i am smart i can go back to school at any time i could get my high school diploma I'm gonna get my high school diploma if you think that is, that that is important to you. That's all you do. I am beautiful. And in the beginning, it's gonna be a lie. Like, because you don't really feel this way. Even though it's true, the feeling is true, you don't really feel that way. You feel low, you have low self-esteem. I had to do this for myself. At one point in my life, I was homeless. I had lost everything I ever had. Like, I ain't had no car. I got all these kids. I got the most kids out of everybody in my family in our current generation like the last two generations i have the most kids the only person that got more kids than me is my great aunt and yes i can have a great aunt somebody gonna be like peaches you can't have no great aunt yes i can if i can have a great grandma i can have a great aunt so my great aunt <laughs> she got five kids too but other than that nobody else so i had the most kids so it became a, a topic like peaches got the most kids um, she ain't gonna be nothing. She did, she that. Oh, she broke. You know, and I started to believe all of these things. It took for me to start watching positive mindset videos to change the way that I think about myself. That's why I tell people all the time, you are what you think. If you think something is easy, it will be easy. If you think something is hard, it will be hard. But let's take it up a, co a couple notches. If you think you dumb, you gonna be dumb if you think you stupid you're gonna be stupid if you think i'm smart i'm wonderful i can master life i can master happiness i can learn anything you will do that you have to work on self-happiness self-confidence self-love all that stuff but it starts with positive affirmations so how you do it is you basically just lie to yourself you can go get in the mirror and be dramatic and be like you're smart you are special you is patient, you is kind, right? You can get in the mirror and do it that way. Or you could just talk to yourself out loud like I do all the time. Daddy always like, you always talking to yourself. McIntyre always laughing at me. I talk to myself all the freaking time. I tell myself I'm smart. I tell myself I'm wonderful about my goals all the time to myself out loud. When I'm in the car by myself, I be like, Peaches, you did that. Peaches, you doing awesome. This is what you can do better. Like I give myself positive, constructive criticism like i know it's a lot of things in my life i could do better when i start feeling depressed about it and i'm like i need to tighten up with x y and z i go and i talk to myself about it like let's have us a, a group meet and peach like look this is what you need to do you need to do x y and z how can we do x y and z and i list it out but it starts with positive affirmations just telling yourself i am smart i'm beautiful i 
can do this. I believe in me. I will. And after you do it so much, you will really start to believe it. No different than how after so many people told you so many negative things about yourself, you started to believe it. I'm sure you didn't think you was dumb. I'm sure you didn't think that you would never be shit. It took for people to keep saying it repetitively over and over to you for you to feel that way. Like with me, it was a time period in my life where I was dirty. And I'm, I have no no shame i was going through depression and i had stopped cleaning up but it wasn't bad like it wasn't filth it was just like i need to put away laundry i need to i always kept my kitchen and my bathroom clean i got it like that's mandatory but let's just say i was just going through being dirty but it wasn't really dirty it was more so like i i needed to tidy up put away laundry put away clothes and somebody would say oh peaches you your house is so dirty I'm like, my house not dirty. I just need to put away clothes. Then they said again, girl, every time I come over here, your house so dirty. Then I start to be like, damn, maybe my house is dirty. Then they say it again. Then they go tell somebody else, girl, I went to Peach's house. Peach's house was dirty. It was like, Peach's, I heard your house was dirty. It's all within my family. And then I just start to feel like, damn, my house is dirty. So fuck it. Like, fuck it. I got dirty house. Peach's kids bad. I got bad kids. I started to believe all of this stuff. And then I started to live that way. It took for me to say, I don't want to live like this no more. That is the first step to all of this. To anything in your life. You first have to say, no more. I don't want to live like this no more. And then I start looking at YouTube videos. I tell y'all all the time in my lives. YouTube changed my life youtube saved my life it was a point in my life where i did not want to live like i felt like i was not shit my life was horrible it would never get better everybody always got some negative to say about me my own family saying negative things about me i got all these kids me and my baby father separated like i'm just this horrible person right it took for me to say no this is a fucking lie like people are lying to me peaches you are an awesome mother it took for somebody to tell me that to remind me of that and then i started to tell myself that i already told you guys before one day i took my kids to school it was choice and gregory i had choice gregory um mcintyre and gorgeous so gorgeous was a little little baby mcintyre was home with me choice had just started kindergarten and gregory was in like i think the third or fourth grade and i remember taking them to school one morning and the principal was like you are such a great mother and i was like what no i'm not and she was like yes you are she said you get your school your kids to school every day she said even if you're not on time you make sure they have already eaten she said you are doing a great job you're a great mother and i just bust out into tears because i hadn't heard that like ever like everybody was acting like i was just this shitty mom at that at that moment and it was just adding to my depression like adding to my depression when when she said that and i started to go back and analyze like why would she say i'm a good mother and everybody else say i'm a bad mother yeah i do make sure they to get to school every every single day my kids have perfect attendance i do make sure they eat if we late i do make sure their clothes are clean i make sure their clothes are earned you know, I do love them. I take them to the zoo. I take them to the park. I started to remember all the good shit that I was doing. And that's how I was reminded that I am a good mother. And then when it came down to my kids, how I stopped feeling like my kids was bad was me just remembering that they kids. Like, people be on YouTube bashing moms and they want the kids to be quiet and all that. They kids. Kids gonna make noise. Kids are gonna climb fences. Kids are gonna climb trees. That's the kind of stuff my kids do. Kids gonna get dirty. They like playing in the dirt. Kids are going to be kids. And then I have a child with special needs. He is loud. You know, he has echo echolalia where he will repeat something that you say you can't just be like cussing up a storm he's gonna repeat it like so it took for me to realize that and start looking at my kids like y'all some wonderful kids y'all some good kids and it brought out a different side of them so when i do come and i talk to y'all about these things i've experienced them you have to change your mindset one of the quotes i live by change your mindset change your life whatever you think you are you are Okay, whatever you think you are, if you think that you a bad mom, if you think that you dirty, your kid's bad, your nigga ain't shit, that's how your life gonna be. If you start to look at the positives like you are a good mom, your kids ain't dead, you ain't kill your kids, you made sure your kids ate the day, even if it was only oodles of noodles, at least you fed it. It's people out here, don't, don't feed their kids at all. It's people out here that kill their kids. It's people out here that rape their kids. Like, you're doing an awesome job. My best friend told me that, I love my best friend, we just talked last night for about three hours, but, um, 
she had told me that one time me and daddy was broken up after i had baby me and my best friend she came down from miami we went to the aquarium together and she was like peaches you are doing a great job like i don't know how you managing all your kids gregory is so helpful like you doing a great job and i was like i don't feel like it I, I feel like i could be a better mom like i'm doing a shitty job she was like girl people kill their kids you making sure they eat they got on clean clothes they all happy like you doing a great job and it took for her to say something that simple to me to like light bulb moment like i'm i'm doing this thing i'm doing this thing and to not just get caught up into what other people say broken people try to break other people hurt people try to hurt other people so if somebody coming at you with nothing but negativity all day even their criticism is nothing constructive in it where they're just telling you all day like you ain't shit your kids ain't shit your man ain't shit your life ain't shit you ain't got nothing you dumb you stupid if you just got that coming at you all day you have to exit those people out of your life and you have to remember that there is that is a reflection of them that's not a reflection of you if somebody coming out pulling out every little bad thing that you do when you do a ton of good but they only focusing on the bad that's because they're at a bad place in their life they don't know how to be positive they don't know how to do that because they're broken inside. Don't let them break you. Don't give nobody that much power over your mental health and over your emotions. I have learned self-happiness. Fuck self-love. I think self-happiness goes in hand in hand with self-love, but I have learned self-happiness, meaning that from doing positive affirmations, from pointing out all the good shit within myself, I know how to make myself happy. A person can get in the comments right now and bring up my past. They can get up in the comments right now and tell me that I'm still not shit, my hair nappy, and I'm ugly. And I'm still going to be okay because I have mastered self-happiness. I'm going to be like, girl, Peaches, you, you, you the bomb. You so confident. You could walk out with your hair looking like this and just love your hair how it comes. Even when it's uncombed, you the bomb. Peaches, you a good-ass person. Like, Peaches, you help other people when you ain't got to. Even when it comes to words of wisdom, you ain't got to share that. It's people that done been through shit, got through shit, and won't tell nobody how they got through it. Peaches, you willing to tell people how you got through some things, even though other people might use it against you and try to break you. That is fucking beautiful. Peaches, like, you just amazing. Peaches, anything you think of comes into fruition. Once you put your mind to something you get it i'm teaching my son about how to control the universe with his mind like i've learned that i'm still learning it i'm not a master okay it's called when i was getting real good into it i'm cooking breakfast and i got these eggs y'all watch my walmart video y'all know that but you know your girl could talk but i was teaching my son that i was telling him and you'll see it in our Chuck E. cheese video i was telling him he was trying to get this car and he couldn't win it and he was just like getting frustrated and i was like you control the universe with your mind and that's true and i was telling daddy it's so crazy how things happen and me and my best friend just talked about this last night we be having people prepare us for stuff this is how good god is he will send people to prepare you for stuff years prior like my best friend she was saying she went to church one time with her nephews two boy nephews and this lady in church prayed for her and prayed for her sons. And she said she thought the lady was crazy. She, she said the lady was like, you're not going to commit suicide. You're going to have a strong mind, a sound mind. God is going to cover you and your two sons, blah, 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 blah. And the lady was praying for her. And she was like, this lady crazy as hell. I ain't thinking about killing myself. And, um, you know, I got sons. I ain't got no damn kids. What, these ain't these my nephews. This lady crazy. But, okay, thank you, whatever. And now my best friend has two sons. You know and she was going through a low point in her life and she said it was that that came up to her like she remembered that lady praying for her in church and preparing her for this moment and she was like i hang on to those words and that's how i know i'm covered by god because if it wasn't for that conversation peaches i might not be here right now like if it wasn't for that conversation i have faith in that conversation i have faith in that prayer and i just remember just now when i was telling my son you control the universe with your mind, right? Four years ago, when I first got into the real estate business, it was this guy I met. His name was Michael. And we went to a couple of real estate events together. I was a realtor at Keller Williams. And when we used to go on real estate events, like the whole office, we go to a real estate training or a real estate event, he would be like, Peaches, he'll sit next to me like, Peaches, I'm finna win. They do raffles. He's like, Peaches, I'm gonna win that iPad. And I'm like, how are you going to win that iPad? It's 60 of us. What make you think you're going to win? And it would say, Michael. And he say, Peaches, I told you I'm going to win. I'm like, how the hell he did that? They cheating. 
they gotta know him then we went to another real estate event together and same thing he was like peaches i'm gonna win i'm gonna win this and i'm like you always say that you ain't gonna win that like what's wrong with you like and he was like that michael you won again i'm like mike how you doing this and he was like i control the universe with my mind if you think something it's true it will be true like you can control the universe with your mind with a positive mindset and he was like you can't i said i'm gonna do that okay so i'm gonna win the next one and i was like i'm finna win but i didn't really believe it and i didn't win and he was like that's because you didn't really believe it you have to believe it with every ounce of your being you have to believe like i'm finna win this like i got this i'm about to win and it took years years of me living life and going through the lows and all that for me to start feeling that way like how i tell y'all i'm gonna be a millionaire next year like i'm i'm the next youtube millionaire i am like i can't nobody tell me different i believe it wholeheartedly when i say oh, i'm using youtube to get me and my family off of food stamps and out of poverty and people laughed at me and said i was crazy and i did like dang she really doing this she really doing this it's because i believe it wholeheartedly i have counteracted those spells those curses people have spoken upon my life those things where they said peaches you ain't shit peaches you got some bad kids peaches you dirty peaches you dumb i had to remember i'm the first one in my family to graduate from high school i'm the first one in my family to go to college i'm the first one in my family to have a business that has success like mine had i'm the first one in my family to own copyrights and trademarks i had to remember that and once i started to remember that i just couldn't believe it i started to laugh i was like girl i can't believe you let people manipulate you out your spot like this like you really sitting up here thinking you dumb you really sitting up here thinking that you stupid i had a conversation with my daddy recently and he was like baby you gotta stop letting people who dumber than you give you advice like i know that ain't nice to say but you gotta stop letting stupid people people you know more more than give you advice they're gonna lead you astray every time stop doing that so i hope this video help y'all i know i be kind of all over the place got a lot going on but i just want to let you guys know positive affirmations it just begins with saying good shit about yourself remember what you're good at you good at doing hair oh i'm the best hairstylist ever i'm smart i'm kind i'm great i'm a good mother yes things i could do better but my kids ate today Yes, things I could do better, but I love my kids. I hugged my kids today. I ain't whooped their ass. I hugged them. When my child did something wrong, I talked to my child. I'm not abusing my kids like my mama abused me. I'm not calling my kids bitches and hoes like my mama called me bitches and hoes. I'm breaking generational curses. I'm going to break generational co curses. You have to speak that stuff into your life and into existence, y'all. Y'all got this. Like, think about what you're good at. Fuck what people saying about you negative. Think about what you're doing great and remind yourself of that. And then you'll start to see other things you're, you're um, doing great. And then other people are going to start to see, oh, she's good at this. Oh, she's good at that. They're going to start to pull out all the good shit in you. I hope that you enjoyed this video and you go and you work on positive affirmations and self-love, self-happiness, and self-worth. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. Like you like uh, for your girl. Uh, you like my picture. Uh, Said I like you like. Uh, you like my video. Said I like you like. Uh, you ain't no hater. Said uh, I like you like. Uh, you getting paper. Said uh, I like you like. Uh, go like, 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 like. Let's go. Like, 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 like to the four. One like, two like, three like, four. Hit I like you like. Soon as you see my videos, you know your girl funny yeah, you know your girl dope. If you really like me, why wouldn't you hit it, yo? L to the I K. E Y Bay, hit a lucky like and send that love my way. L to the I K. E Y Bay, hit a lucky like and send that love my way. Light, 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 light. Let's go. Light, 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 light. Follow. Like, like, hit a like, like, hit a lucky like. Let your girl go. Fly with a like, rock with a like. To the left, to the right, go like, like, like. Australia better like, like, like. U S better like, 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 like. Like, 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 like
I hope y'all like this sound. Yeah, that's right. Hit a like you like for your girl. Thanks for joking. Bye.